Hey all you beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be showing you my reading journal in use. So stick around. Hey all you beautiful people, welcome back to the channel and if you are new here, welcome friend. Come on in, make yourself a cup of tea, get comfortable, and let's get into some journaling. In my last reading journal video, I showed you how I was setting up my January spread and going through the books I've read in a series and my thoughts on that series. In the comments on that video, I had a few people ask to sort of see how my reading journal is going to work in practice, not just sort of my spreads and layouts, but how I'm actually using some of the spreads. If you click the tag at the top of the screen here, it'll take you to my reading journal playlist. The first video is setting up all of the general spreads. For this journal, it is an Alice in Wonderland theme for the journal. And then as I go into the individual books I'm reading, they'll have their own themes and their own spreads that are inspired by the books themselves. And some people were curious how I was using those general spreads and wanted to sort of see me do my wrap ups for the month and chart my stats and just sort of see how it all plays out. So that's what I'm doing in this video. On my January page, this is where I'm putting quotes from books from this month. Just things that moved me, things that were interesting, things that sort of made me smile, made me laugh, made me cry. And then the best of these are going to get moved over to a quotes page for best quotes of the year. Just things I want to remember. Then I'm tracking my stats for the month. The calendar here is what days I've read this month, be it for 20 minutes or five hours, whatever. If I picked up a book and read something that day, I colored in that number. Then I have my books read page, and this is where I'm putting every book I've read, how many pages it is, what genre it's from, and how many stars I give that. At the end of the month, which is now, from here I look at how many books I've read and I'm writing down that number on the next page. I then add up how many pages I've read and move that to my pages read for the month. If you're looking for a quick and easy way to do this, you can track your reading on Goodreads and it will tell you how many pages you have read thus far and you can just, it'll do all the math for you and you can plug that number in. Then once all of this is filled in and I have all of my data here, it's time to move it over to the beginning of the book where, that I set up at the beginning of the month. We're gonna go to the bookshelf color in those last two books and I'm numbering them. And on the next page, I'm gonna fill in the information for those books. I'm also, every time I come into this page, I sort of color uh, another piece of this, this section. Um, you know, at some point it'll be done. <laughs> and then on the next page is where I'm going to have the corresponding numbers and books. So for book 11 and 12, I then flip to my month at a glance. I write down the titles of those books. I write down the ratings I gave those books. And now I have all of the books I've read this month, a total of 12 books. And I move those over to a total of 12 books. And then I'm going to my reading challenge where I'm wanting to read 60 books this year and I color in those last two books from January. The following page from this is my monthly overview and again I'm going to take the stats from my monthly stats page and I'm going to move them over here. After my reading challenge, I'm going to move over to the series page and color in the next two books in that series. And then I'm going to go to my monthly stats page, take all of the data from there and move it to my monthly overview. So that was 12 books. I read three poems this month. I didn't read any short stories and we have a grand total 5,518 pages this month. Um, on my Goodreads challenge, I was expecting to read uh, 60 books and so right now it's telling me that I'm doing really well on that challenge because I'm sort of ahead of schedule which is great always good to know the last thing I'm gonna be going through is my reading bingo and again I've read 12 books and not all of them are necessarily going to hit a unique marker because they're in the same series 
Looking at book one, I'm going to start out with the LGBTQA plus representation. There is quite a bit of representation in this series and right out of the gate in book one, we've met, we meet at least two characters that represent various aspects of this community. And so we're coloring that one in. I've owned the books in this series for about five years. I've read the first book previously um, and read a couple of them. And so the series overall, um, I've had for over two years. So I'm going to color that one in. The main character has a pet. Um, this one's interesting because she starts out, Rachel has a goldfish, um, but yes, she has a goldfish. She has a, that is there throughout the entire series, uh, that kind of plays a role. So I think that counts. Um, and then I'm coloring in, wish I'd read it sooner. Cause even though I've read the first book previously, um, I really wish I would have dived, I would have dived into this series a lot more seriously at an earlier date. It's so good. Uh, the next one I'm doing is good book, bad cover. Um, the covers on these aren't great. I don't really enjoy the art style that they chose. It, it, it doesn't really feel like it suits the, the vibe of the actual story, but it's fine. And this, the books are so good. Non-human characters is the next one I'm choosing because even the main character is not human. Like most of the characters are not human, which is great. It's exactly what you want in a fantasy uh, the next one I'm doing is a book with a quest because um, at this point we get into the series where Rachel is is given the job of uh, escorting someone cross country and uh, yeah it's it's quite an interesting quest. Uh, morally gray character there are a couple and I really enjoy them so much so that's another one we're gonna check off here. And then we have author you've read five books plus from, and we're now at like eight, like I said, 12 books in this series. So it definitely qualifies. Ah, I missed the fourth book in a series. So as some of these are kind of overlap, I am trying to make sure I don't have one book apply for more than one thing, even though they are multiple things. Um, so we're gonna just color in the fourth book in a series because we missed that and totally that qualifies. And I think that's all we're gonna color in for this one, even though there are 12 books in this series. I don't wanna fill the whole bingo up with one series. Um, so we'll move on. And that's the, um, that's, the, that's the book, guys. My journal index is updated and ready to go. We have my books at a glance. Or sorry, we have my bookshelf colored in. We've got the books read data written down for January. We have my reading challenge updated and ready to go. We have my series updated, my TBR. These are different books that I own that I want to get to at some point. Uh, I've added a few books to my wish list that I don't own, but I want to. Uh, there's my bingo updated. And then I've put my, my quotes have been listed on my January page. I'm probably gonna move this quote over and I will cry when I leave because I could have loved you forever. And that just, oh, it broke my heart when I read it. Um, and so that one's probably gonna get moved over to my monthly page. And there's my January all done and updated. So that is my whole journal. Thank you guys so much for coming with me on this journey. It has been so wonderful learning sort of how to track things. I am an English major and so writing essays and doing book reviews and things like that is something that it's it's part of the pleasure of reading is being able to just marinate on a subject and think about the story, the plot, the characters and what I took from it. And this is a really great way to allow me to go through what I've read and really savor every moment um, and contemplate how I, it resonates with me and just my thoughts. And I really love that I can then take that and share it with you guys as well. So it's like that group discussion. So if you guys have any thoughts on other things I could do in this or whenever you're watching the, my, um, 
my reading wrap ups close to the end of the month, feel free to drop down in the comments and get involved in the discussion about the books that I'm reading, books you're reading. Uh, I really, really want this to, this channel or this aspect of the channel to turn into a let's sit and talk about our favorite books or what we're reading or what we're doing. Because um, I think anyone who's watching this is someone who's definitely sharing this passion for literature. And so let's do that. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to see more content from me, hit that subscribe button so you're kept up to date of all the videos I release. Thank you guys so, so much. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.